Now you may have noticed that I didn't talk about biscuits or splines to reinforce these joints. To be honest, I just don't think that you need it. The edges fit so well together and the glues are so strong that this glue up will last forever. But there is a place for joint reinforcement. I see that as trying to take end grain like this and joining it to either edge grain, face grain, or end grain to end grain. When you look at end grain, what you're really looking at is a series of straws. And the only glue surface area is on the outside edge of those straws. So no matter how long you leave this clamped or under whatever kind of pressure you want, it doesn't take long to break those glue joints. Another place that you may need biscuits or splines is joining dissimilar materials, uh, this MDF and this piece of poplar. What I'd like to do is show you first how biscuits can be used to reinforce these, then we'll go and show you how splines work. So the first thing I'll do is I'll kind of line these pieces up to make sure I have the correct faces up. I like to see the, the nicest faces. And because I want them to index off the tabletop, much the way the biscuit joiner does, I'm going to mark those faces and make sure that they always stay down. When we use biscuits, all we really need is a pencil line where you're planning on putting your biscuits. And remember when placing the lines for the biscuits to keep those biscuits away from the end of the board. That way if you have to trim the board off later, you won't be exposing the edge of those biscuits. Now you'll notice that I've got this board clamp of the table. I do it for a couple of reasons. The first is, of course, I want to make sure that it stays there while I press the biscuit joiner up to the face of it. But secondly, I want to make sure that that board is flat to the top of the table. If this board had a sense of humor, a small little bow to it, as long as I keep it clamped and I press it flat against the table, it's indexing against the top of this much the same way as the bottom of this biscuit joiner is too. As long as both of these are flat on the table, the biscuit that I put in there will be parallel to the face. Here's how it works. I'm just going to match up the little index line on the front along with the pencil line I put in earlier, set my biscuit joiner up against the face, and press it in. Now we have two grooves set perfectly parallel to the face of that board. And of course we repeated these two cuts just like we did the first. Okay, now we'll take our biscuits, of course put glue on the edges and the biscuits and slide them into the slots. And put our two boards together. You'll notice the faces are exposed, and look at how nice that seam is. Now here's a way we can reinforce those joints with a spline instead of a biscuit. The spline will lie in the middle of both these boards and allow good glue surface area. And here's how it's done. The basic tenets are still the same. I want to find the nicest faces of these boards and put an X on them. I know that these boards are three quarters of an inch thick, and I know that this spline is three quarters of an inch wide. So the first thing we'll do is raise the table saw blade three-eighths of an inch. So I'll adjust my ruler to three-eighths of an inch and raise the table saw blade up to three-eighths of an inch. I know the spline material is three-quarters of an inch wide, so I'd like the center of that blade to be three-eighths of an inch away from the fence. So using the same measurement, slide my fence over until it aligns with the center of the blade at three-eighths of an inch away from the fence. And now I've marked my boards with an X on the good face. Those good faces lie up against the face of that fence so they're always indexing from the same spot. When I turn the saw on, I'm going to run each piece past there and because I've indexed them the same way, that eighth inch blade will cut the perfect opening for this splice and you'll see how they fit. So here's how it goes. Now here is how that spline joint goes together, a really nice joint.